Big Al from Chicago here. I'm back. Today we're going to talk doing business. Did you ever wonder why the government makes it so difficult to do business in this country? I don't just mean at the federal level. It's all those local governments sticking in in your ass. Well, let's take a look. First of all, your governments have favorites, and if you're not one of them, or maybe you're going to compete with what the government has or wants, good luck getting permits and licenses. You all know how it works, but you don't do anything about it. Let's take, for example, park districts. Look around. They're installing water parks, slides, buying and running golf courses, festivals, banquet facilities, and food concessions. All these businesses used to be owned and run by the private sector. Just think about it. They raise your property taxes so high, little by little, and let the utilities hammer you where you, they also get tax revenue. Then when you can't afford to run your business anymore, the government comes in with an offer you can't refuse. This is just like the kind of muscle we used to use in the old days. You know, get them in debt and take over the business. Well, now, the government owns your golf course, with all its amenities. They bought it with your tax money. They will give the connected and their families overpaid jobs and benefits, all on your dime. With no risk at all, unlike the businessman who takes risks. Next step, the operations don't make any money, and the government has to raise taxes to cover their losses. All on your dime again. The businessman now has a competitor who entered the field using his money to compete with him. So next time you wonder why your taxes are so high, think about your government going into all these different businesses, all on your money with nothing to lose. I advise you to get the government out of business start doing their jobs and running the government. The federal government is playing this game also. Buying and bailing out banks, auto industries, funding losers like Cilantro. By the way, I smell a rat with the Cilantro deal. I suggest somebody follow the money and the people involved to see if they're involved in any other plants of this type or businesses in China or elsewhere. Well, this concludes my report. Thanks for stopping by.